Hey guys, Cheryl here with CLP Design and Cheryl Logan Photography. Um, today I'm going to show you how to apply an overlay to your image. Uh, this will be a quick tutorial that shows you how to apply light overlays that give your images a new look. Um, I chose an image today to show you that had a pretty simple backdrop. Um, this is just a paper backdrop that had some snowflake stickers applied to it. So it's very simple. So I can show you just how the overlays are applied and how they look with a simple studio image, but you can use these overlays in so many different ways on so many different types of images. So don't be afraid to play around and try some new things. Um, so I have my image here chosen already, so I'm going to go ahead and select the overlay to apply. I have this one open. This is number three in the Christmas collection, and I'm going to make sure that my move tool is selected. Then I'm going to click on the image, and I'm going to drag it over right onto my photo and I'm just gonna line it up directly over the image again using the move tool and then I'm going to my layers plan panel to select screen so that is directly applied um, the overlay to the image you'll notice it needs a little work um, you know that's on areas that I don't want it to be on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a layer mask I'm gonna click right down here and you'll notice that that created a white layer mask um, so that will mean that a black brush will brush off areas of the layer mask that I don't want. Um, I can change the colors of my brush as I'm you know editing and brushing on and off using the X shortcut key so that'll take me between black and white if I go too far and need to change it. I prefer to use layer masks instead of the eraser tool because it's non-invasive, it doesn't damage the image, and it's easy to make adjustments as you go along if you take a little too much off. So we'll get started. I will select a brush. I'm going to make sure it's on a soft brush so the hardness is down over here. And I'm going to increase my brush size and brush off the main areas that I don't want the overlay. So here on the rug, and on his body and face. I definitely don't want that big blotch of light right on his face. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can get a little closer and get in tight with some of these areas. Now this happened to hit where that big blotch of light is right kind of on a key area of the photo and I don't really like that. So we'll see here how it looks once we get it brushed off and we might need to make a little bit of adjustments there. So like I said I'm just using a soft brush um, to brush off the areas of the overlay that I don't want to show up in the image. So just real quick and easy and you can do this faster you know but I'm a details person I get in close and Make sure I have the edges how I want them. So you can do this pretty quick, but if until you get really used to it, I recommend zooming in and taking a close look and making sure you've got it, got it down right. So that's really glowing there around his ear. So what I'm gonna do, and this is a good example because sometimes they don't aren't perfect for every image, and you need to make a little bit of adjustments. So I'm going to make sure that I'm actually on, clicked on the overlay itself, and I'm going to take the clone tool, and I'm going to make it really big and grab a circle that I like, and I'm going to use that clone tool right over here to apply it, and I like that a lot better without that glowing around his head. And then I'm just going back to my layer mask, and I'm going to make a little bit of adjustments with the brush, and get in close and. Yeah, actually it's all good so that looks a lot better than that bright spot there so you know I have some brighter spots in this particular overlay and if it's right next to someone's face or a key part of the image you might want to you know use the clone tool to move another part of the image over on the overlay so just something to show you that's a great example of how sometimes it doesn't work for every image but there's ways to work around it 
You can also lower the opacity so that will lower the intensity of the overlay to where some of those brighter areas won't be so bright. And you can also, you know, make adjustments to the overlay just in certain areas. You know, I can adjust the opacity of my brush and change how this really bright spot looks and kind of lessen its intensity a little bit, but I don't want to do that too much. So just a great example of kind of what you can do there and how you can apply this overlay to the image. So you'll see that this definitely gave this image a completely you know, new backdrop um, compared to the simple snowflakes back there. Just gave it a little pizzazz. So this is one example from the overlay collection. I have some others that I prepared ahead of time to show you. This is number four in the collection. And this is number two in the collection. And number one is pretty simple, similar to this one, but it's vertical. Um, but you can rotate them any direction you want. This one has a little bit of texture added to it, so it's not just a light overlay. So you can kind of get an idea. And the neat thing, too, is you can layer these all together for a completely different look. You know, this looks totally different than just one by itself. So, and sorry, my cat is meowing in the background. That's kind of ironic. We're working on one of his images. Um, so I just wanted to give you an idea of how these are used and how you can apply them and just the different look that it can give to your work. So play around with them, you know, get familiar with how to use overlays and add them to your images. It's a great way, especially if you're, you know, have some simple paper backdrops and you want to try some different things and give your images, you know, a new look or just an updated backdrop. It's a good way to do that cost effectively with a fast edit. Um, just, you know, watch your edges. I see some areas here where, you know, I could perfect things a little bit better, but you get the idea of how these are applied and just how they can really change things and make your image so much different. So I hope this helped you learn how to apply an overlay and how it can change the look of your image. Have a great night.